Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome back to part 5 of my let's play of the trial version of Cal Amayui Castle Meister. And it's time to go back to Kumiel Village and see if this time we get what we want out of them. So the two of us are opening our workshop space in here. And she bounces around making noise, mostly. So this is the Guarakuna Company, the mobile workshop. So we're propositioning on some passerby. We get to explain what we do, which is pretty much anything you want us to do. But she says she doesn't have any money on her. And it kind of goes like that for a while. She is uh, popular as far as she goes, but they don't want to pay us for anything. She wonders if they're still scared of the castle. But Avaro says he thinks that something's strange about it otherwise. They all seem troubled by something and well it could be caused by the castle they're behaving oddly. Oddly. Well, they're not as worried as the, of us as they were before. And it's not like they're deliberately avoiding us this time. So now she's thinking it's not because of the castle. Yeah, Alvaro thinks it's something else that, that is troubling them. She'd like to know what it is. This is a standard invitation to come shop. Yes, what we have, and we'll again say we'll do anything, but. Oh, Navarro specifically showed him the water wheel we made. But the village can't use it right now. She asks why not, and he says, It doesn't matter even if we did tell you. She insists. The problem is the village doesn't have enough water right now. So they've had to pay their money in order to secure a source. Avaro observes that it wasn't like this the last time they visited, briefly. Well, their well suddenly dried up. The well's output has been getting worse for several years, but recently after the earthquake, it just suddenly dried up. Yes, earthquake, Fia. In order to get enough water for the village, they have to head out to the uh, water place. And it's taken a lot of manpower to get the water they need right now. So 
So they really got to get that water problem fixed. Yep, the whole village pulled together their money to solve this problem. Up the road, there's a city that they went to request a traveling worker from that can fix this. Fear remembers those two mechanics we knew. But Avaro knows those guys and they're specialists. In order to fix this problem, they need some. But with it's outside of their specialty to be fixing this problem. So he asks if the city has sent anybody out yet. No. Well, first it's got to be Avar asks if they sent someone to the city to do it. And yeah, they did it right away. Yeah, I told you we wouldn't be able to do anything about it even if we told you. So don't worry about it. That guy's kind of standoffish. Alright, so now we know what's going on. But it'll be hard to dip our fingers in this. Buffia decides that we're going to fix the well problem. Well, those mechanics were, wouldn't be able to fix the well. It's within the purvey of Avaro's specialty as an engineer. But we can't just do this on our own initiative. Because they haven't entrusted us to do it for them. And furthermore, they know we're connected with the castle and if they are still suspicious, they definitely won't want us poking around their well. And furthermore, they already sent someone to go request a worker from the city up the road. If we... If we move on our own, they might get a bad impression of us. She's got the idea that if the village people don't ask us to do it, we can't fix it for them. Well, yeah, even if we do have the ability to do it, to work for them means to be paid by them. And the village doesn't have anything for that. She is getting the wrong impression about how it works, but she does have the idea that we can't do it without their permission. Yeah, Fia says we'd be able to do this for free, but the village people would still pay for, would still pay. Normally it's the people who are requested to do these things that, who would come to the village and take their time and preparations in order to do it. That's why they need to be paid.
Overall also points out that if we fix the well, the person that they've already hired would be, well, inconvenienced by the existence of a working well rather than a well that needs his fixing. Avaro really doesn't know much about our economics, but I suppose I know too much. Alright, Fia's on our side for once. She understands what we're saying, she agrees that it's right, and the village people are not mistaken. This is a first, isn't it? But let's do it anyway. Fia, God damn it. Well, we can be of use to the village, so we can't just sit here and do nothing. Yeah, if there's people in trouble and we can do something about it, we have to do it. I guess. But I've all kind of knew that she would make this choice. He does kind of re recognize that it's hard to turn your back on people who need help. Well, these guys, that's under normal circumstances, but these guys are under duress here. And furthermore, by doing this, we could actually earn their, a bit of their trust which is what we're after in the first place. And finally, my lady Fia wants to do it. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> yeah, you got an apostle who'll just bend over backwards for you. All right, let's go research it. And with that, we head out to this place. Uh, Senshi Swamp, perhaps? Or Jungle? Meh. So they start by researching the well. Well, it's not that the weak spirits are weakened, it's that there isn't any response from them at all. Avaro has the same kind of feeling of it. The water stream that fed this well doesn't have any s water spirits in it anymore. So without any water spirits, there won't be any water coming out of the well. Yeah, Avaro agrees and... There's something that's bothering him. Underneath the village there was a water stream. Underwater stream? Underwater river perhaps. But there isn't one there anymore. Now why that underwater river drew uh, dried up is the question here. The water would have to go somewhere and it would if it's not going there it needs to go somewhere else.
So let's look into that. Madam. Yes, it's a map, Fia. I'm glad you're educated enough to tell. Yeah, we've borrowed this map. Now, they talked about the earthquake. And that's probably related to the castle. Right. And the village welled right up right after the earthquake. Right next to where the castle was laying in the first place, there was a spring. So it would flow from upstream down towards the village. But while the castle was still there, the flow worked in that area a certain way. But now that the castle has moved, that area has changed and the quaking and stuff caused the flow to change. So that means... Okay, I've told you this much, I can't really try to trick you on this. So listen close. The reason Camille doesn't have enough water is because the castle moved. And yes, it's her fault again. She's a total goddess of calamity to this village. God. Don't get down so quick. They haven't found out yet. <laughs> yeah. That's a mean thing to... That's a bad way of thinking, says Via. But Avaro is joking. We've decided to do this, so we may as well do it. Well, yeah, yeah. So, once we fix the problem, we can go and properly apologize for... Well, causing the problem in the first place. If we went and explained that we're the cops right now, it would be a bit problem problematic to do it. Yeah, they would get mad at us. Well, it is our fault and we can't very well take the castle back. Avaro might have been talking about how difficult it would be to get the ruins back in place the same way as they were before. But Fia takes it as meaning that she has a place that she needs to take the castle, so they can't exactly go back. Well, even if the two of them have different reasons. So, just as planned, we're going to be fixing the well. Now, how do we do it? Well, the two of us can gather the feelings of the spirits, and if we follow them long enough, we'll find a good place. Yeah, if we follow the spirits, um, if we find the spirits again, then we'll be able to find where the flow of the underground river went to. And there, we can build a new well. So we search down the spirits 
build a new well and then say we're sorry to the villagers. Mm-hmm. Now it talks about this river here. We can't cross it without flying or diving skills. But since neither of Aronofia can do that, we can't cross right now. He suggests building a bridge later. Now there's a lot going on in this map and I'm going to try to do everything. One important thing is this last mission objective is to defeat the water beast Ke Keura. It's pretty difficult at this level. But it's down here and I'm going to attempt to do it for you. And then there's finishing the map which will come pretty soon after. But first things first, let's get rid of the wimps. Remember that ability of Avaros that can boost an ally attack? I'm going to try and buff her up all the way she can go and she'll do pretty good at that point. I want YouTube to know this is a crappy level up. コードを開始だ。行動開始だ。制圧した。行動開始だ。もらっておこう。制圧したよ。行動開始だ。Hmm. Okay, since I sent her back in, she lost the buff. So I'll have to keep an eye on that. That is a lot. Anyway. Now to try and fight that Keura down there. Yeah, this guy seems stronger than the rest of the guys around here. We should probably focus on searching for the underground river. And avoid unnecessary fights. But screw that. As you can see, this guy can beat Rivaro up pretty easily. Engosuru. 
But he is going to just heal himself. Let's see. If it does 18 per turn, I'll just use one of these right now. She doesn't have enough buffs to get much above its defense power yet. But given time, she'll be able to take it down. On the other hand, Avaro needs to defend or else he'll be murdered. Kind of like he almost got murdered. Get better level ups. You two losers. Alright. And healing. Mm, two or three. Bastard. Oh, yes. Now he's run out of magic, so I need to give him some more. Okay. Five damage. Now we're getting somewhere. Oops. I forgot to heal him. And he dies. That is a useful function. I'll tell you what. This should have her at the maximum buff level, which is plus five to attack and magic attack. Now we're doing seven damage a pop. Or four there. Man, it's not quite enough. Now oh, remember to heal this guy. Because he's in Hurtsville. Actually, since it's down to one hit point, we could have Avaro kill it. Let's not. Alright, this is going well. Now we want to get Avaro's SP back and keep this buff on Fia up. I've got three more turns. the buff. And now it's back up to five turns. This is going to be very important once we get into the room up north. Well, I don't want to waste the buff, so let's go do this. Oh, 
All right. She can feel that the water spirits are gathered up ahead here. Yep, that's for sure. Alright, so let's make friends with the water spirits and get the water source secured. Well, this is odd. Even though the water spirits are there and they've noticed us, even if we call them, they don't come. They don't respond. Yeah, they look kind of angry. Possibly because the environment's changed. All of, changed all of a sudden on them. Okay. So, this being as it is, maybe we should just head over to them and start talking. Can't be that simple. Yeah, there's something here. A high-level spirit. Is it? Natsi. He accuses us of being our enemies and asks us why we came here and accuses us of being the cause of the problems. Well, parts of it. Oh yeah, this is Kai Kisuke. Oh, no, wait, that guy had blonde hair. Anyway, we have no intention of being his opponent here. Well, we are kind of at fault for the environmental disturbances. We want to talk about it first. We're trying diplomacy here. This is an interesting series of words. Anyway, he says that Fia has borrowed her appearance in an attempt to confuse him. Or he says us. But there's just the him right now. But he also says it's no use. So he's here to protect the underground river. And he won't be. Oh. Okay, he's introduced himself. Rudin Yuiki. So he is one of the Yuiki. And Yui here is actually coming from the title Ama Yui. So these are going to be plot important characters eventually. But right now, all he wants to do is fight. Alright, the other water spirits in the area are obeying him at the moment. So, that's why the water source is uh, unstable. So if we get this guy to calm down, the rest of the water spirits will too. Alright, simple as that. And now we have the final criterion for defeating this. If we get Ruin's life below 20% of its maximum, we win. 
However, if instead of going, just going to eight or less, we actually get his hit points down to zero, he'll drop an item. And I will do my best to get that for you guys, but I can't guarantee it. Hmm. Let's see, three turns. Look, stop being in my range. There are basically two disadvantages in being here. One is that Avaro's magic defense is not very good, and these guys have a lot of magic attacks. And the other is the fierce, well, everything defense is not very good. But we better get er, not you. Hmm. Okay. We'll call this good enough for now. Fortunately, if they come up, come walking up asking for hurt, we can lay it on them. And that was just two of them. Hmm. Fortunately, Fia does a ton of damage. Alright, she's doing alright for now. So you can just hang about and heal yourself. Fortunately, you get plenty of... At least up to this point, we've gotten plenty of healing items. Yeah, I think we're safe fighting these guys. Bingo! That's what I'm aiming for. Let's see, 14, 17. This should do it, but I'm going to save real quickly. With her buffed as high as she is, she hits it 100% of the time for 17 per time, and she's really fast, so she gets three attacks. This should do it. <laughs> yeah, he says, bad guys, prepare yourselves. Yeah, if you didn't look like Kaikiske, I'd take you seriously. Hey, there's a good level up. <laughs> and there's that item. It's a water spirit's necklace. <laughs> now he complains of the water flows instability, making him unable to realize his full potential here. He says he'll retreat for now, but his war against the gods is not over, so we'll meet again. Bye-bye. War with the gods, huh? Well. And he was glaring at Fia the entire time. Accused her of barring her visage. Or appearance. Maybe he knew Fia a long time ago. Hmm. But the first things first is getting the spirits under 
Well, calm down. So let's say make a priority of talking with the water spirits. Yeah, now that that guy's gone, they'll probably calm down easily. Well, with our help. All right, everything's fixed. But Fia seems somewhat uneasy with how things went. So are you, as expected, worrying about that spirit from before? Yeah, when we fought her, we kind of understood that Thea seems like... Thea feels like she has a kind of uh, resonance with that character. Yeah, but he was kind of glaring at you. Eh, with a distinct enmity, let's say. She's just hoping that he was uh, not actually angry at her, but being used by someone else or something. Yeah, she still thinks that if they, we can get a good conversation going with them, the two of them can mend their differences, whatever they happen to be. Yeah, I've always agreed to help her out with this too. You know, here she apologizes for overusing her apostle. Avaro is really only teasing her, though. Okay, so we'll put that on our list of things to do. So, that being sorted, let's go make that well. Let's see, if we return to this map, we could get more of these cleared. Especially the 100% map completion. We'll need more characters for that. Or a character that can cross... A character that can cross water, I mean. Alright, so now we've set a, marked out a place near Camille Village where we can set a well. Yep, this is Avaro's judgment, and now he asks if Fia has the same feeling about the underwater river here. Yep, she agrees. So let's get started. Uh, Fia's first idea is to gather a bunch of rocks into a circle. Uh, guess. Well, if we do that, we're only going to end up with a pile of rocks. First, we need to drill a hole. But fortunately, Avaro has something pre-prepared for this. Ta-da! This is a magic-powered drill. If we use this, this will be... The work will progress quickly. Yes, drill. Well, it uses magic power to do its, its stuff.
so it'll be able to drill into the earth. And now she's speculating that if we started selling these, we'd make a lot of money. But actually, there aren't a lot of people who can use enough magic. This thing has pretty high essence requirement, let's say. So there are actually pretty few people who will be able to use it. So she's caught on. Only people who can use a lot of magic get a lot of ma got can get a lot of magic flowing can use it. Exactly. And that's why we're counting on you, goddess. She's excited because Avaro's relying on her. Alright, so she grabs a hold of it and... There you go, Pia. Keep at it. Keep going, keep going. That's right, only you can do it, Fia. The whole village is counting on you. Oh, wait a minute. Couldn't Avaro use magic too? Ah, she figured me. You figured me out. Yep. You recall the cutscene where we explained what an engineer was by basically saying it's a mage who has a lot of knowledge of of uh, constructions and things. So yeah, we're a mage. That was mean. We're switching. It's your turn now. Yep, yep, you, you got me out. But it's good that you're not counting on Navarro all the time. He says he likes that you're willing to pull your share. Yeah, she says she loves him too, even though that wasn't exactly what he said to her. Even if he tried to make her drill the hole all by herself. Alright, so Avaro starts talking about drilling the hole. Ignoring entirely the fact that she said she loves him. She really wishes he, he would say nice things back to her when she sh she says her things. But she'll leave it for now. They yes. do have something important to do. Alright, so after that the two of them kept drilling the well. I think it worked. All right. The new well is complete. Well, she says she's going to go call the village people. But Avaro says that isn't necessary. Since they started, they've been gathering an audience, actually. You dits. Pay attention to your surroundings. So this is the new well, it's a little far from the village, but with this their water problem will be fixed. So he's asking why. First of all, they weren't requested to do it, and second of all, they can't pay us. 
これは私たちがやりたくてやったことだから。Yep, we wanted to do this, and besides, it's our fault that you're well and dry in the first place. 城塞ってあの大きいのか Avaro explains everything he explained to Fia to these guys now. Yep, making this well is part of our apology for, you know, breaking the last one. So she asks if we'll use it. And here's the proper apology. Well, it's not like we intended to trouble them when we got the castle moving. Yes, absolutely not our intention. Well, that's kind of obvious. If you had intended to hurt our well, you wouldn't have made a new one for free. And they're thankful to us for doing this on our own initiative because we felt responsible. She wants them to forgive us, so she officially asks for forgiveness here. Well, going beyond forgiveness, they're actually thankful that they've got such a great well now. In the beginning, the well was the output of the well was getting worse, as they said before. In fact, it, even if the castle thing hadn't happened, it wouldn't be long before they wouldn't be able to use it anyway. She reserves that this well seems to be pretty convenient. Yeah, they've got a. You saw the geyser, but they fixed a pump well to the top of it. And they get to show it off right about now, I think. Yeah, here we go. The two of them are going to hold hands and operate the well. All right, fine. Dork. Yep, so it works pretty easy. There's some cheering and things. Avaro would like to remind them that they can use the Guadacuna Company to do whatsoever. I mean, not just wells, but pretty much anything they can put together. <laughs> yeah, we can be of even more use to you. But from now on, we'll be asking for money. So they say they will, yeah. Fia says it's nice that everybody's so happy here. And I guess these are the first people she's seen since she woke up. Well, besides Avaro. So it would mean a lot to her. Avaro <laughs> observes that Fia seems even happier than they are. Yeah, pretty much. Navarro says he's so tired from making the oil, he just wants to go home and sleep. <laughs> yeah, but Navarro's smiling anyway. <laughs> don't call P don't call men kawaii. It's not praise. 
アバロのその顔が見られただけでも頑張った甲斐があったふーんアバロがそばにいてくれてよかったよ。So they're kind of bonding over this thing they did together. She's thankful to Avaro for being here for her, and because without him, he, she wouldn't have been able to do this. <laughs> okay, are we done with the Moe Blob bullshit? Okay. That's that. Wow, that is a lot of mega power! And we got a rank up. Hmm. This is a rank. The girl who is searching for a bridge to build? Maybe? Anyway, she gets an attack. Both types of attack. And a new skill. That one's pretty useful, actually. Wow, it went from daytime to dusk time to night and everything. So she's happy everybody's getting, they're getting along with the villagers now. <laughs> yeah, Varo observes that Fia's been kind of wandering around and it all dreamy like. Yeah, she says her body is feeling all sparkly and stuff. Because getting along with people brings her power up, perhaps. The power of connections, huh? <laughs> so if everybody's happy, she gets... Energy from it. Easy to understand and all. Yeah, so she's a goddess who brings happiness to people. Praise her, praise her. <laughs> all right, you did good. Good girl. And she praises of our right back. Yeah, this is Avaro's first job since acquiring his own workshop, so he's pretty happy about it as well. She says he's unusually kind and uh, sincere about Arrowhelm. Being more forthright with his feelings than usual. 
He says he's always kind and forthright. But he's also happy about things. Rather feels like he's so excited he all doesn't know when he'll be able to sleep. Uh, this is her laying down a bit of innuendo. Avaro pretends not to get it. And this is her dropping all pretense of innuendo and saying it out, right? And now Avaro is just going to go straight into teasing her. Here accusing her of uh, not knowing what she's talking about. She, he's accusing her of always joking about in that, about that kind of stuff, and says she's going to get attacked one day if she keeps doing that. And that she should keep that sort of stuff for someone she really cares for. Either of our really is that stupid or I think he's just teasing her to get her flustered. Anyway, she's pretty well set on only doing with this with Avaro anyway. So, are the two of us going to get serious? Yeah, sounds like they are. So this is what we've been waiting for, the sex scene. Psych! Alright, this is the end of the trial version. Did you enjoy it? So we can continue playing after clearing the trial version scenario. So we can either continue playing or return to the title. I'll just see the rest of this. Alright, so that's Ior. Who says she'll join us? This is Mikeyu. She'll also join us. And you guys all remember Kisnir. She'll join us too. And there's another map unlocked. So that's the end of the trial version. The new map is in here, this second one. And I will show you the new map next time. So I will see you later, YouTube.